All right, good Monday afternoon to everybody. What is this, Rob Dibble, Norm Charlton music? I don't know. I don't even know what the hell that song was about. I'll just move on. <laughs> uh, let's get into it. We How gotta, are you, Michael? I'm just stellar. Stellar. I'm just always, every day I walk in this building, overwhelmed with the level of professionalism that we have around us. So let, let's just move it forward. The Godfather with us today, Rico on vacation. We have Stoney's Red Hot overreactions to the first series of the year for the Tigers. We got to talk a little college sports because I got questions and mm -hmm. I think we got problems. But we're going to start out with the Red Wings. You're wearing a Red Wing hat. Yes. Which is an odd pairing with an Eagles sweatshirt, but yes. it's you. It's who you are. Exactly. I, um, I've um, i reached a point with the Red Wings and tonight's game against Tampa Bay, and I want to know if I'm fair or unfair. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Win or F yourself. That's just where it's at. I, You know what I don't want to do? Find more excuses for this team. <laughs> I don't want to hear about, well, there's seven other chances or games in hand or, well, they played okay Saturday. They didn't win. They have lost four games in a row. Again, lose tonight, it's five. I don't want to hear that the Flyers are tripping over their garden hose every night or that Washington plays four more playoff teams. Win or F off to the sun. Is that an unfair standard where I go, fellas, earn your way in? That that would be a reasonable expectation. But if for some reason the stars align and as we have a few more games down the stretch that they you know could still get in if they win that particular night, I'm not going to turn my back on them. But it would be nice to them to win a game in a place where they usually don't play very well. But, but yeah, I, that would I be want, nice. What I want is this. Don't be the t well. Don't be the best of the bad. Earn your way. Yeah, that would be nice. Can for the first time in five weeks, can you put a solid week of hockey together? Two weeks of hockey together. I know. Look, look. The most important thing is winning. There's no doubt about it. But as Kenny Cott, our you know hockey uh, guru, will test, except for the Carolina game, the three or four games they've played pretty well, but they and didn't to use win. Your words, Mike. Win. I know. I don't want to hear it. I, I, but look, I'm looking at the I'm from watching the games. It's not that they came out and pl you know played like crap from the get go. The, like Lalone actually, the team actually had a pulse, which was a it's a step forward than what they had been showing. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they it would be great for them to win. But they're not going to like forfeit their chances if they lose. Kenny and I we we said what they had three games at Florida. At Tampa and home to the Rangers on Friday night. Reasonable expectations we'd be somewhat satisfied is three points. They got one. Win one more wow. and they're fine. Well, but my point is if they don't win tonight, I mean enough. Come on, man. It's like, tough. It's a tough watch. I get all that. And, you know, when some of your star players, uh, to break it, are not doing much, like missing breakaways and, okay, I don't, you know, hitting the post does not, does, you don't score goals for hitting the post in overtime. And that power play, when they had a four on three in overtime, was a freaking disgrace. Where Florida's got three guys lined up at the blue line. You'd think the wings could like just chip it and go, you have extra an extra guy. It's overtime. And they could muster maybe one shot. That was awful. I want to hear from the people on this. Is it is it unfair or have you reached the same point where it's like, you know what, fellas, go out. Beat Tampa tonight, or just kindly see yourselves out. I mean, I, I the, I mean, I, I mean, just, it would be good for your mental health, uh, all our mental health. I, I get all that, Jesus. but I can't give, I can't just give okay. up on them. And, and Mike, you're not wrong if you don't give up. You're not wrong for saying mathematically, you know. I just it, listen. I just feel. Tell me if this sounds familiar, Mike. I just feel like we lack standards. I feel I like understand. we lack standards in this town, like. The idea that the head coach of the team 10 days ago goes, well, you know, uh, no one believed in us at the start of the year, and if you told me, as you have said, goalposts move. Correct. The seven game, you know, this massive losing streak that followed the good vibes of post-Valentine's Day. Some of them have never gotten it back on the rails. No, they So haven't. all I'm asking for is start playing well, yes. night overnight. And if that means you didn't get in, it's a different conversation. But at a certain point, you don't get a trying no, award. No, 
win. Yeah, exactly. I feel like the way they're playing right now, you don't deserve to be. So if you trip over your garden hose and find your way in, that's fine. Right. It won't feel the same to me. And I don't want to hear, like I said, about guys hitting the post and the, the, the ridiculous goal that went off cider. I mean, I, puck luck, tough. You have to overcome that stuff and take it to the opponent. Tonight's tough. Tampa's still really, really good. Uh, are they the cup team that they were? No, but they can. They're a tough. Hey, there's your boy. They're right toughing there. out. I know you're all excited. They were showing some JJ highlights. Stoney's got a big take about JJ for later too. It's hot takes only by Stoney today. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Go ahead, hockey elite. Yeah. Pull the ripcord. Let's get involved. Wings, lightning tonight. I don't. I just. I'm tired. Go win. Go play well. Right. Earn your way in. Right. Stop it, trying to look for ways to, like, fall into the playoffs. Because you look at their last 10 games, they're 3-5-2. and two. I mean, that, that that's disgraceful. <laughs> it is. Tampa, what are they in their last 10? 8-1-1. One, and one. Washington, 6-3-1. and one. The only other team that's as bad as the uh, Red Wings in their last 10, actually there's two others. The Islanders are two, seven, and one. And the Flyers are suddenly now in the wild card hunt. Three, five. They're three, five, and two. Or three, five. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I saw it this morning. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be the Red Wings are going to have to beat out Philly, is what it's going to have to come down to. Two, four, eight, five, three, nine, 97, 97. Well, it starts tonight. Go ahead. You got Tampa. You're going to rise up and play? Because if the Wings lose tonight, you can just wake me up when the season's over. I've had enough. I can't keep watching it. That's the thing. The Wings can't, they should be, of course, worried about the other teams because of the race. They got to worry about themselves. Oh, yeah. They They have to win games. They themselves. The the fans can play all the, you know, games with the standings that we want, okay? The players have to say, enough is enough. Let's just go out, you know, or as, you know, people like, uh, what, what Harbaugh said, and who was the other person who just said it recently? I'm going to die trying. That's Izzo. Izzo, yeah. Okay. So that's what they got to do. They got to just play their asses off. But the big thing, David, it's what you said. Like, I don't I don't want to watch the standings. I don't need to. If you win games, you get in. It would take something outer space-wise that if you went out and put a really strong six, seven games together, that you wouldn't get in. Yeah. You know, you tip your cap at the end of the day if the other team was able to go 6-0-1 in that stretch or something. It's not going to happen. These teams aren't that good. The Wings have done nothing in the last month to deserve a playoff spot. Right. In fact, they are very fortunate they're even this close. Yeah. If we're being honest about it. Right. The Islanders so, imploded too, and the Flyers are imploding. Right. So with that, I just want to know is tonight the last stop for people? And look, if you want to sell me they could lose tonight, but win Friday, how would you feel? Play whatever games you want. Right. What I'm tired of is tuning in and watching them lose. And and by the way, the one time they escaped from the fire. They were very fortunate. They did not deserve to win that game against Columbus. No. At all. So I, I just get tired of wasting. Look, guys, it's part of the topic a little later on of what, where we're at with college sports. Tired of watching stuff that's not entertaining. I want to be entertained. Correct. That's what these things are. They are entertainment products. Wings got to win some games to be entertained. Go to Tampa. Show you're a playoff team. Otherwise, what the hell are we talking about? Okay, well, let me, let's differentiate between entertaining and, and winning. Sure. Okay, so if they're entertaining tonight and, and lose, you will still be pissed off, Problematic. Right? It's yes. got to be both. Okay. Right. But, I mean, Mike, when all seemingly all they've done since the blessed Friday of February 28th where we were like, wow, this is real, car flags right. up, They all they've done is lose. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Now, I, if you want to hand out a participation trophy out there and tell me how good their Fenwick is over the last three games versus the no, previous ten, I don't ten, want to hear Fenwick, Corsi, or well, anything. call a different show. Yeah, two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We're going to get to that. Uh, that's it. We're going to get to the people. We got Stoney's hot te- hot overreactions from the opening weekend of Tiger baseball. Holy hell, are the White Sox bad? But we'll get to mm-hmm. it because the Tigers won. And all yes. we can ask is winning. Right. But exactly. we have some overreactions. Stoney claims you have Mariano Rivera in the bullpen. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're also going to do some college <laughs> sports stuff as well. Uh, and we got mock drafts. We got a lot to do on a Monday, 97 1. If- 